so um, well, um, do you mean in terms of like education? And uh, yep, I, I started uh, with my bachelor's as a electronics and communication uh, engineer, and then I took a break from studies, and then I did my master's and PhD. So. I think um, in the beginning, the value of education was not so much clear, but after I worked in the industry for a few years, then this was more clear, like why, why do you really need education to kind of understand all the frameworks of, of the world around you? So yeah, this was kind of the main difficulty maybe. But, but working for me in the industry for a few years before continuing my studies again was really useful. Um, uh, not so much because, um, well, uh, so I, I did my bachelor's in India where maybe the main difficulty was the access to information. So a um, lot of the information that I got uh, for my studies mainly was through the textbooks. But uh, when I did my master's and, and then uh, my PhD, I had already moved to Finland uh, where maybe getting the information was more easier. So. You know, you could get uh, access to a lot of things over the internet, so a lot of materials for studies and things like that, So, which was maybe not as easy uh, in India back in the day. Maybe this was kind of the main challenge. So um, quite recently, uh, maybe more than a year ago, uh, I started my executive uh, education in, in management. And uh, still then I was based in Helsinki, but my education was, or my university was based in uh, the US, in the West Coast. So uh, we had a lot of live classes that we need, needed to attend. And the university was even using VR platforms. So, you know, it, it was kind of quite disruptive in a way that, uh, you know, you could be kind of live in the class in, in Palo Alto when you're in Helsinki. But the, the broadcast technology, especially for these kind of services like VR, it's not there yet. So it was not so responsive. Uh, the video was like, uh, there was quite a lot of lag and uh, the responsiveness, um, if you, you know, you, you try to move to a different room or something, the responsiveness was not as good. So I started feeling that, okay, maybe the traditional broadcast where you just watch the video, uh, uh, where, you know, the, the video is kind of broadcasted using some of the tools that are available today was much better than trying to use VR or something. But I really believe that, you know, this is the future. Um, everybody cannot be in, in different parts of the world to get the education that they would like to get, um, especially in this kind of immersive type of uh, way of studying. So um, I hope that uh, you know, as the communication industry evolves, uh, you can get, get access to better quality of education, um, especially in terms of broadcast with better quality and things like that. So moving forward, I think that's my biggest expectation. So um, personally for me, like uh, the broadcast industry is uh, relatively new. I've uh, worked on this maybe for one and a half years or something. And I think the, the, the biggest kind of uh, experience that students could get is to just try to work in the broadcast industry. So if you could get some internships or uh, some opportunities to work with the broadcasters and the content providers. So I think that's the most valuable way to kind of get into the industry. For sure, I mean, uh, I think this is the most important topic moving forward because the amount of uh, kind of value that artificial int intelligence create, especially in terms of automating a lot of the processes that we see today, it's really important to understand. So, so a lot of the things, a lot of the tasks that you do today, which are quite repetitive, it's going to be replaced by artificial intelligence. So, I think students should understand. Uh, this, it's really important to gain this competence, but it's also in, important to understand what kind of competence they need to get moving forward, which then you know, goes ahead of artificial intelligence. So what they study should be still relevant uh, once AI is kind of deployed in full scale. Uh, 
Okay. So uh, I, I think the best advice, uh, based on my per personal experience, has been that uh, it's really good to work, uh, at least get some experience in the industry, because then you really understand what are the, the real problems that the world faces today, what, what's the real problems that the uh, broadcast industry faces today. And I think uh, the students, especially uh, the young people, I think they could bring fresh ideas to the bro broadcast industry. And uh, it w so it's kind of a, a value proposition both for the broadcast industry as well as the students. So the students could learn new uh, industry techniques and the industry could learn from the students in terms of um, you know what do they really want and how is the uh, industry going to uh, evolve moving forward. Mm -hmm.